ago, we had this event that we went to. This was an all-day event, and I just wanted a new outfit for the event. So I shopped for weeks and found the right outfit, and I loved it so much, and I felt so confident in it, and I couldn't wait to wear it. All day long, I had people telling me, oh, I love your outfit. I love your outfit. You look so cute. And um, I was like, oh, thanks, you know. And then by the end of the day, or at the end of the day, this darling, darling woman came to me and said, oh, I love your outfit so much. How far along are you? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't pregnant. So then, so I hear that, and I'm automatically I'm like, I don't look cute in this outfit. I look pregnant in this outfit. I, what was I thinking? Why would I think this is a good outfit? I, I panicked. I went home, took the outfit off, never wore it again. Ended up at the DI six months later. And now I look back at that story. I'm like, Brooke, that is so silly that you ignored all the positive things that were said all day long, and you hold on and believed the one negative one. And what's even more silly, what's even worse, is that I let that one negative opinion immediately change mine because I liked that outfit just fine before. It is completely useless to base our self-worth on the opinions of imperfect people. It makes so much more sense, right? <laughs> it's useless. It'll never work. It makes so much more sense to base our self-worth on the opinion of one who is perfect. What God knows about you is so much more important than what people think about you. He knows you are beautiful, and that knowledge does not change based on his circumstances or his mood. It doesn't change based on your hair or your body. It doesn't change based on your talents. It doesn't even change based on your choices. He thinks you are beautiful. End of story. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm glad it's resonating. <laughs> I wonder if sometimes he looks down and gets frustrated as we curse these, these gifts that we've been given, this body that we've been given. He looks down and says, I, I didn't make you beautiful for Instagram. I didn't make you beautiful for your friends. I didn't make you beautiful for Facebook. I made you beautiful for me.